Could you tell us a little bit more about your characters? Because now we've seen Nadia and Mason. Okay, but what is surprising about them? And what are the parts that you personally found intriguing? Oh, what I found intriguing about them is, 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 is how, how damaged they must be in certain ways in order to choose this kind of life. And I think that's something we kind of got to explore with both of them. And, and hopefully we'll have more opportunity too, is delving into who they are to be someone who is being someone else every day, and on top of that, then playing another character all at once. These are really complicated, intricate humans who do kill people, who do bad things, who have questionable moral judgment. They're, um, they're complicated humans. Nice. Priyanka? Um, I think he really encapsulated what our characters do. I think um, Mason, character comes from a place of really trying to understand his past and who he is as a person today and I think Nadia is who she is today and what she's going to be in the future and they kind of are star-crossed they kind of Correct. are drawn to each other no matter what happens um, and there's you know outside of all the flashy action and the you know big stunts and the explosion and all that cool stuff the show has so much heart because their characters can't stop but be drawn to each other. You know, our characters, their characters, our characters. Um, and I think that just makes for like good TV, you know, like you, you invested in, in both Nadia and Mason. At least that's what I felt when I watched the whole show. So, you know, we know this from the trailer, of course, that there is, you know, these characters, they lose their memory and they're actually going to be different people now with different personalities, I'm assuming. At the same time, there's flashbacks and then you just said, who they might be in the future. I mean, I'm sitting here, a complete non-actor, okay, complete layman question. How does one even prepare for a role where you have the past, the present, that you don't remember the past at all, and the future that might be? I'm intrigued. It's kind of like, it's like one of those scenes you see in a, in a police drama where they have pins and a chart and strings yes, between exactly. things. Yes, exactly. That, that was our trailers and dressing rooms, just trying to work out how do we tie these, st these stories together? How do we make it as clear as possible so Correct. the audience can understand it? But behind the scenes, we are keeping each other in check, comparing notes, be it what character are you now? What do we know? What do you know? So it's a complicated process, but in the end, it makes it very clear on screen. But yeah, we had a lot of very confusing days. Correct, like two personalities over these six episodes. Uh, at any point did you go like, where are we now? Every day. Oh, really? Every day. Oh we God. had to come in every day and kind of not just check, like Richard said, check in with each other because our characters knew, I mean, we knew our characters really well. So we would say, do you have this information yes. yet? Did Nadia tell Mason this? Does Kyle know that? Um, and then we had to really confer with, you know, the directors and the filmmakers to be like, wait, we don't want to pull on a thread that we can't, you know, eventually answer. Hi. But this show is like a duck. You know, it looks beautiful, it's swimming beautifully, but underneath it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I love that. That's what the show is. I love that. You look at it and you're like, wow, it looks great. You don't know <laughs> what all it took. Maybe we should say swan instead swan. of duck. <laughs> swan. Do swans swan. paddle fast? Yeah, they're like that. Hey, we're going to backstop. We're going to backstop that, all right? And we're going <laughs> to yeah. say swan now. Exactly.